I'm like a goddess. Baby, who who gonna check me? It's your girl Unique the Iconic. Honey, we're back here with another video. Uh, today we're just gonna be transforming me from this to a full-on baddie. You guys, quarantine has been having me looking crazy. Like I don't know who I am. Like I don't lost myself. But no worries, we're gonna get right back into it. But anyways, you guys, if y'all want to see more, go ahead and stay tuned. Make sure you hit that like, that comment, and that subscribe button. Please do. I love giving y'all content. And definitely, if y'all have anything that y'all would like to see me do, definitely please comment that below. Definitely. Or if y'all want more content like this, more so like a nighttime routine or anything, put that below. <laughs> but anything, anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and hop into this video. Love y'all. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna wash my hands so I can put my contacts in. Uh, I'm really blind, y'all. Like, y'all don't wanna know my vision. Like, I promise y'all. I'm blind. I'm legally blind. I can see barely. Blind. Wash our hands. Wash some hands, honey, during these times. 20 seconds, honey, we don't need no germs, especially not my eyes. My glasses keep sliding, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna use to wash our face, I recently started using Cetaphil about, I guess you could say about, yeah, about two months ago. And like I said, if you watch any of my other videos, you would know that I had a bad breakout with contact dermatitis that was on my neck. I don't know if you can still see it, but it has went away um, a lot. My skin is starting to get back like to its normal color, especially here. This this kind of almost is done, but yeah, it was bad. It was like all on my face. It was so bad, but this really did help a lot as far as getting my skin to be clear and kind of calming it down. I use this on my body and on my face, so we're gonna use this on my face. Now I'm going to use like a lukewarm water, not hot water, because we don't want our um, oops, we don't want to like make our face dry or anything like that. So we want to retain as much moisture as possible. I'm just putting it around my whole face. It keeps dripping on my arms. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. I also use oh, <laughs> I also used this when I was um, when I had that reaction. It really really helped my face, and I would use the uh, cream moisturizing cream on my uh, my chest and my neck. But I really love this moisturizer just as a normal moisturizer because it really just makes your skin like so soft and like I use this. Literally almost every day. I really absolutely think this is a great moisturizer. I do know that some people said they had like bad reactions. So a few people did. They had bad reactions with this. But um, for me, I, I never I never got anything like that. I feel like it works so well with my skin. And it helps keep my skin as clear as possible. Alright you guys, so that was basically just my morning routine as far as how I get myself prepped for my day with my um, face for makeup and everything. And now we're going to go ahead and head over to my makeup room so we can go ahead and get to this face and this hair. <laughs> Alright you guys. Okay you guys, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get into my eyebrows. Um, oh honey, look at these edges. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get that together at the last okay 
Alrighty, now we're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills a soft brown um, dip brow pomade. So now I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I really like this primer, you guys. It's so good for keeping your foundation like all together, honey. Like it's really, really good. Y'all should definitely try it out. Okay, so now you guys, we're going to go in with the Fit Me Foundations, the Dewy Smooth ones. I'm going to take a 355 in Coconut and I'm going to take 330 in Toffee. I'm going to mix these two together. So I'm going to add some like blush to my face. I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Saharan um, Blush Volume 2. I'm going to like go in with the warm one. It makes my favorite too. Now let's go ahead and get into the highlight. We're gonna use the Wet n Wild. This is the um, illuminating um, highlighter powder. This is in the Golden Flower Crown. I'm 
trying to make sure this is all blended. Y'all, I'm so big on my highlighter being blended, like with my contour and my blush and everything. Like, I don't, I don't like that Ugh, look, you know? Boom, that just like changes the whole shape of the nose, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX. This is the um, Stay On, Slide On, Glide On lip liner. This is in the shade Urban Cafe. This is such a pretty color, you guys. I absolutely love this color. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX uh, Liquid Lingerie Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Butter. And to top it off, we're going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. Oops. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get into this hair, honey. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just first thing I'm gonna do is just wipe around like the edges, my edges like where I put makeup on because I just don't we don't want that cake look. Like we don't want that. We don't want them brown. What is it? Them weird looking edges. I'm gonna kinda wipe all my edges too a little bit to clean up some of that like white that you see. That is so not cute. So we're going to use the Black Style Factor Edge Booster. And I'm going to mix it with the Even or Ebon New York um, Edge Control. So that they can kind of go together. The black is just going to be used to kind of hide like the white on my edges. That's only because I'm too lazy to wash them. I don't feel like it. <laughs> so I'll do that later on. So we're first going to go in with the... Ebon or Evan, whatever name of it is, edge control. We're just gonna kind of like go over. Well, yeah, we're gonna go over it. Go over it a little bit, and we're just gonna lay those edges, baby. Now, I don't like to lay my edges a lot, you guys, only because I want them to be protected. So I typically don't try to put edge control on them every day. Typically the the edge booster will last me about like three, four days. Well, I'm exaggerating, probably like three days at the max. But it really works really good. And it holds the edges, especially for my hair type. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
take the black one I'm only gonna take like a little bit I'm just gonna rub it like on the edge and I'm going to lay the black over this is how you hide all that white hair all that white flakes and and all that cuz that stuff just don't be cute and I'll be too lazy to wash my goddamn hair y'all I'm gonna put it like all on there just to hide any white that may come out once this edge control dries Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and put it in a hairstyle. I don't know what hairstyle I want to do, y'all. I don't know. I think I want to do like a full-on top bun, possibly. Okay, let's try that. me I'm over here looking at my monitor at the same time but I mean who would I look at themselves when they're looking like this <laughs> let me stop <laughs> um, but anyways you guys thank you so much for watching this video if y'all definitely want some more videos like this um, definitely just let me know like I said comment below some more things you want to see if you want to see more content like this then definitely let me know please make sure y'all like comment and subscribe please and thank you <laughs> but other than that you guys y'all please stay safe out here love y'all